Hey folks, Matt Lang here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to take the sound of a purring cat and turn it into a playable instrument. Over at Avid, we just released this month's Sonic Drop and it is called Purcell, hence this very beautiful shirt. Thank you, Greg Chen, for making this. Uh, Purcell is a collection of nine instruments for nine lives. Get it? Oh yeah. Uh, it's a collection of instruments made to make music for cats. And while some of the instruments in there are actually uh, not made from cats at all, but they are made to emulate the sounds that cats like, like rumbles, like purring, and you know, high twinkly stuff like birds, there are a couple in there that are actually made from my two cats, Coda and Kira. I'm gonna show you how I took Kira's purring and turned that into a playable instrument. So this is a recording of Kira I made just by holding a microphone up to her chest when she was purring. It sounds like this. It's pretty fantastic. And the nice thing about her purring, it actually keeps a very, very straight rhythm. I tried doing it with Coda and his is not nearly as straight. He was far too distracted. So she works better for this. But anyway, so say we just take that, we put it right into a, con into a contact sampler. Um, again, I'm using contact, you can do this with anything. But so now my C3 is gonna be her purr. So if we play it up high, we start to hear that there is in fact actually a tone there. So I'm just gonna bring up a tuner and let's see what it says. So it's a little bit sharp or a little bit flat of an A. Um, the other thing I did here is there is some slight pitch fluctuation in between, you know, basically like her up purr and her down, I guess her inhale and her exhale. I'm thinking like a guitar pick. But um, so let's flatten that out a little bit first. So I am just going to use uh, the Melodyne ARA we have in Pro Tools now. And so now I have uh, the purrs, which uh, let's actually make it monophonic because we don't want all the individual notes. Okay, so I'm just gonna select all of her notes and I am not the best Melodyne Pro by any means, but I can get it done. So, so we can actually see, yeah, she actually is centered around A a little bit. So I'm just gonna grid everything up to A. And then just to make it a little bit more cohesive, I'm just gonna pull the notes in so they're not super all over the place, but I don't want it to be, you know, I still want to have some movement. So I'm fine with that. We can just close Melodyne now, and let's just commit it. So now we have our tuned Kirapur. Let's go back into Contact, and I'm gonna close that. Let's take this one, which is the tuned one. So now, if we check our tuner, I bet it'll be a lot closer. Yeah, so that'll work. Uh, but now let's loop it. So we're just gonna go into the wave editor here and we're gonna make a loop. And then I'm just gonna look for basically, I think four. So one, two, three, four inhales. That should be the fourth one right there. Let's just zoom in, make sure we get the start of the loop right and the end of the loop right. So that's about where it is. So now if I hold a note. Perfect, just add a little bit of a crossfade. So now I could take Kira and I could play her all over the place. Let's actually go up a bit. <laughs> Sounds like chipmunks, it's pretty funny. Um, but let's, uh, now we have all the features, you know, that you can do with a sampler, which is what makes this nice and fun. Um, let's look at our mapping editor first. I'm just gonna drop her root note way down to C0 because otherwise we're gonna be, you know, all over the keyboard. So let's go and let's just add a filter now to Kira's purr. And we'll just go and say filter, low pass, say ladder three, why not? That sounds like this. Let, uh, let's give it a little bit of a filter envelope. So we'll go to envelopes. And we'll say we want it to go maybe 
50%. Let's say that. And now let's put a longer attack. Let's say, you know, almost, you know, 800 milliseconds. Nice long release and let's say a nice long decay also. So now we get And if we add some unison to it, uh, the way you do that in contact is via the script editor, but do it however your sampler shows you how. And let's just say voices, let's say two, and that's fine. Now, sounds cool. Um, and let's just add a reverb now to it as well. I'm just gonna go to our old trusty black hole because black hole is just perfection. And let's actually, because if we actually take down the filter, we're going to lose a lot of that, like the high-end chicka 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 kind of stuff. So let's take the envelope down. Um, let's just move this around and see how it sounds. resonance and I'm just going to give the amplitude our VCA give that a little bit of an attack too and a little release so now let's play something extra octave. There's the original purr. So that's how I turned a purr into a playable melodic instrument, but you could do this with actually anything, anything that loops. I promise you, if you play it fast enough, you will get a tone out of it. So go try anything. Honestly, the world is your oyster and go record an oyster. Check out the Pro Tools Sonic Drop. If you're a Pro Tools subscriber, this is all included with your subscription, so it is free to you. So go check it out if you want. There is lots of info around that to be found. And check out Purcell. It was a ton of fun to make, and it's a ton of fun to use. Purr harder.